years, man has looked up to the stars and dreamed of landing on that mysterious red planet, Mars. Today, that dream will be realized by our crack team of genius scientists. avoid springtime on Mars, as that is the most windy season. To do this, we will be launching in the late winter on Earth. Taking into consideration that a Mars year is about two times the length of one of ours, and that the trip will take about nine months, this is the best launch time, as it will allow us to arrive on Mars and spend our three planned months there as safely as possible. More specifically, we will be launching on or very near January 14, 2014, because around this time the planets will be aligned in a manner that creates a gravitational slingshot that would both make getting to Mars and turning around in the event of a problem much easier. In all, the trip should last about 21 months. Nine getting to Mars. About three spent on Mars. Supplies needed for the trip. Food and water for 21 months. Fuel for the trip there and back, as well as fuel to get around Mars and the rover. Materials to build a small biodome for testing purposes. Things to keep the crew entertained during downtime. I wish that they swooped down. Country lane, late at night when I'm driving. This is Mars. We're going to be landing here. No, how many times do I have to tell you? We're going to be landing here. The site we have selected is in the valley near Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system, at 18 degrees north and 133 degrees west. We chose this location for its chemically rich soil and atmospheric content. This would be the most conducive for our biodome experience. We will construct a small biodome, large enough to run tests to see if an ecosystem could survive in a larger biodome. Based on the results of this test, we will decide if a larger biodome would be feasible. Also, in the time not spent with the biodome experiment, we will explore and learn as much as possible about the area near the landing site. A biodome is a glass dome suited to start an ecosystem. Even though Martian temperatures can reach negative 130 degrees Celsius, the heat absorbed during the day by the glass should keep the biodome at a reasonable temperature. We're bringing a team of scientists to study a biodome and the difficulties of maintaining it. Here we 
is the astronaut Brian going for a ride in the Mars rover. months of work, humankind has reached its ultimate destiny, Mars. <laughs> <laughs> 